calling all history buffs and giggle lovers. Get ready for today's funny story joke that's a medical mystery tour through time. Imagine doctors back in the day diagnosing you by your tongue color and prescribing something that smells like grandma's attic and tastes suspiciously like dirt tea. Now picture hospitals with enough acronyms to make your head spin and bills that could launch a rocket to the moon to escape those bills. Buckle up because a penny-pinching businessman walks into a doctor's office with a very puzzling rash. Stay tuned, folks. This punchline's a doozy. A tale of two traditions, a wacky look at how we used to patch ourselves up and still do, kinda. Ah, healthcare. The glorious land of needles, enough jargon to make a parrot cry and bills that could buy a small island nation. But fear not, intrepid explorer of overpriced band-aids. Today, we embark on a historical comedy tour of medical practices in China and America, proving that even the most serious topics can be a laugh riot. Just don't faint from it. That would require actual medical attention. China, acupuncture, emperors, and herbs that might be dirt. China boasts a medical tradition older than your great 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 grandma. We're talking over 3,000 years of history. Back then, fancy doctors honed their skills in herbal remedies and a technique called pulse diagnosis, which basically involved feeling your wrist and hoping for the best. Imagine having a dedicated physician whose sole job was to make sure you didn't keel over from a hangnail. That was life for Chinese emperors. They were all about preventative care, which is why they also enjoyed things like moxibustion, burning dried mugwort on specific points. Sounds relaxing, right? China wasn't a medical hermit kingdom. They traded their medical knowledge like they were trading silk scarves. Fun fact, smallpox inoculation, which saved countless lives, originated in China and eventually reached Europe, revolutionizing disease prevention although they probably didn't have the cute cartoon band-aids we do today. America, bloodletting, booze, and the rise of science. Thank goodness. Early American medicine was like a Wild West saloon brawl of medical practices. You had European traditions, Native American remedies, and whatever crazy concoctions the local healer cooked up in their basement. Bloodletting, a practice based on the idea that bad humors caused illness, was surprisingly popular, despite its questionable effectiveness. Seriously, just imagine the doctor saying, you seem a bit under the weather, let's drain some blood. The 19th century brought a much needed scientific revolution to American medicine. We finally started figuring out how our bodies actually work, which led to things like anesthesia. Thank the medical gods for that. The 20th century saw an explosion of medical advancements in America. Antibiotics, vaccines, and fancy new surgical techniques became the norm, leading to a dramatic leap in life expectancy. Today, American healthcare relies heavily on pharmaceuticals, technology, and a whole army of specialized doctors who you might spend a small fortune just to see for five minutes. The future. A mashup of needles and pills? Despite their different paths through history, both China and America are starting to see the value of combining traditional and modern practices. Scientists are looking at the science behind traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, while Chinese hospitals are embracing Western technologies. Who knows? Maybe the future of healthcare will involve a delightful blend of acupuncture needles and prescription pills. Just don't picture it too literally, please. Bonus fun facts. Did you know foot binding, the painful custom of deforming women's feet, wasn't outlawed in China until the early 20th century? Talk about barbaric beauty standards. The US Civil War, with its horrific injuries and primitive medical care, serves as a chilling reminder of just how far medicine has come. Seriously, if you ever need a reason to be thankful for modern antibiotics, just Google Civil War Gangrene. Both China and America still struggle with making healthcare accessible and affordable for everyone. But hey, 
At least we're not sticking leeches on people anymore, right? Right? This whirlwind tour through medical history proves that even the most serious topics can be a chuckle fest. Remember, laughter is the best medicine, although some actual medicine might be helpful too. So the next time you encounter a medical mystery, whether it's a skyrocketing bill or a sudden craving for acupuncture, just remember, it's all part of the hilarious and sometimes frustrating adventure called healthcare. Okay, enough history for now. Let's ditch the dusty textbooks and dive headfirst into this hilarious medical mystery. While in China, an American single man acts promiscuous and does not use protection the entire time he is there. A week after arriving back home in the States, he wakes one morning to find his swimsuit area covered with bright green and purple spots. Horrified, he immediately goes to see a doctor. The doctor, never having seen anything like this before, orders some tests and tells the man to return in two days for the results. After two days, the doctor tells him, I've got bad news for you. You have contracted Mongolian VD. It's very rare and almost unheard of here in the US. We know very little about it. The man perplexed asks, Well, can't you give me a shot or something to fix me up, doc? The doctor answers, I'm sorry, there's no known cure. We are going to have to amputate. Wait, what? The man screams in horror. Absolutely not. I want a second opinion. The doctor replies, Well, it's your choice. Go ahead if you want, but surgery is your only option. The man shops around, going to many doctors and experts, but they all tell him the same. They must remove the organ. At some point, a friend tells him, You contracted this in China, right? Then why not go to a Chinese doctor? The man, having not thought of that, seeks out a Chinese doctor in the hopes he'll know more about the disease. The Chinese doctor examines the problematic area and proclaims, Ah, yes, Mongolian VD, very rare disease. The guy says to the doctor, Yeah, yeah, I already know that. But what can we do? My American doctor wants to cut off my organ. The Chinese doctor shakes his head and laughs. Stupid American doctors always want to operate. Make more money that way. No need to amputate. Oh, thank God. Yes, yes, you wait two more weeks. Um, it will fall off by itself. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.